What's going on? This Rock B. I want to get on my Jaden Will rant again. Watching a lot of things on it. It's pretty interesting, you know, especially for uh, media people who's, you know, engaged in this type of shit, you know, gossip and all this old type shit, right? And I trip off, you know, a lot of people say some things are off limits and some things are not, you know, whatever the fuck, you know. So everything is good when uh, we're talking about, you know, Jada coming out, talking about Will. It's all good, you know, listening to that, hearing that, you know, everybody dialoguing and uh, commenting on that situation. It's all good. But when the a lot of people... That's kind of up in arms when the brother Bilal came out and talking about, you know, Will and Dwayne Martin doing their thug thou wow, you know, getting they broke back mountain on. If you let brother Bilal tell it, it was Will getting his back broke. What'd he say? <laughs> it was a murder scene. The hell's that look like? But anyway, so, you know, People pick and choose what, what, what um, is supposed to be said when it comes to these celebrities and what things are supposed to be private and all this old type shit. But, you know, it's all, you know, out there. You know, it's all out there cool to, to talk about or whatever, whatnot, you know, if you're into that shit because, you know, you can't differentiate, you know what I'm saying, just because you don't want to hear the other, oh, that's private, that's bedroom talk, you know, and I'll be tripping and shit. It's all some bad shit, right? It's all some juicy shit. It's all the same shit. It all comes to the same shit, you know? If it's all private, it's all private. No one's talking about it, but, you know, if anything, anything. So one thing, when you become a celebrity, you know, Y'all think at first you want the notoriety. Everybody wants that fame at first. You want to be seen and, you know, somebody asks for your autograph. You know, I had a little bit of it, you know, when I was younger. And, uh, you know, you want to get seen. You, you want people to ask. So, you know, so sometime when you ain't, when you're in that life and you're really about that, you put out fake rumors and all this old shit, or you just do some fake shit, you know, to make make you seem, more uh, more illuminated, should I say, than you really are, you know. Fake it till you make it type shit, you know. So, in that instance, you know, you, you know, you you know, you, you you just just really driving for the fame, shit. And so, when you get the fame, you know, you got it. So a lot of times the same, you know what they say, same way you get it. A lot of times the same way you lose it. And that seemed like it's real. That's look like it's really going on, because this fame and whatever would not had, you know, you know those folks, you know. Well, I don't know if it's Jada just started putting everything out there, you know, might have been, you know, it's been rumored because I ain't heard Will say anything about none of the bullshit, you know, like you know. All this bullshit, you know, he just responded to Jada. So Jada says he's a monster, right? She's a monster. And I done met a lot of females like Jada, man. Got one in my life right now, right? And um, that's a lot of motherfuckers like Jada, man. But, you know, I don't know if the rumors would have got out there and all this stuff would have got out there if it wasn't for Jada. If they would, they've been out there. You know what I'm saying? But heavy like they are right now, I don't think they would have if it wasn't for Jada. So, you know. And um, now we're listening to them. We're all on it. So nothing's off limit to me. It's all gravy, like chicken with his mother, man. A nigga say he got his black bro on out. Will Smith, nigga. Fucking legend. Fucking, who else? Uh, Hancock. <laughs> Hancock, right? He got his hand on another nigga cock. Uh, shit, this nigga right here, this, you know, this, you know, this this, this is hell interesting. Like, they said he he was getting his back blown in, right? And like, you think Will Smith would be doing the fucking, right? And they come out, the, the, the nigga is 
Buying Dwayne Martin, all kind of shit, right? Well, you know, allegedly. All this shit is allegedly. That's what the brother said. He got receipts that Will Smith and bought Dwayne Martin houses and all this old type shit. So I kind of half ass believe Dwayne Martin. I mean, uh, the, the brother Bilal, right? Only because he sounds real convincing and shit. He really does. He ain't mixing up his words and shit. And uh, so nigga better watch his back, but uh, I believe him. And uh, and I think a lot of people say they don't believe in only because they don't want to get in that 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 flame because there's some fire, you know. All the the Hollywood is coming out. They 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 hate that, and all their secrets is coming out, right? So what's going on? And and Will is one of their biggest motherfucking uh, 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 Hollywood uh, 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 money bags and shit. So they can't really have too many motherfuckers talking about that, right? Because that's Fucking off a lot of pockets and shit. And, uh, but I, I really believe the bl- brother Blau on, on, on my list. And, uh, he just sounds too convincing, man. And, uh, of course, you know, he scorned and whatever, whatnot, why he came out with it. Something happened, you know. So, but for the other reason, he came out with it. So, to that, y'all watch who you got around you, watch what you do. You know what I'm saying? Watch who you trust. If you got some real serious shit, you, and you, and it's real serious, only try to trust yourself, because, man, it wants another motherfucking know. You know, that shit can be out there, man, especially if you want to keep it secret, so you guys got to watch it. And uh, and I'm going to flip the script a little bit. Like, niggas going to get jaded like Will did, right? It didn't happen to me a couple of times. Like, nigga that talked about the nigga dick, right? Uh, right? The nigga got his money on. Nigga should have left, right? So nigga got to be stronger. Brothers got to be stronger. Men got to be stronger. Especially when you got your money on, right? I can understand if everything going bad, you ain't got your money, mom, or treating you bad, and you you dealing with a lot of bullshit, right? But and when you got your money on, you ain't got to deal with that shit. Leave that bitch and just deal with that hurt. Get another bitch. Get another couple of bitches. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you got your money on. You know what I'm saying? Get a couple of bitches. You know, you know, go out there and buy you a new nice ride. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so you know, and free your mind doing something else. Get your mind off that, right? Don't get jaded like Will did, you know what I'm saying? Because it's bras like that, you know what I'm saying? They're the modern-day uh, um, Robin Givens and Mike Tyson. And if y'all don't know that story, look up the Robin Givens and Mike Tyson story. It's sort of the same way, the mother situation in the whole nine. Sort of the same shit. You know, she took that nigga for millions and shit. And, um, yeah, it's females like that, but you got to be strong. Brothers got to be strong, man. You got to be strong. See them signs coming. You got your money on. Bounce. I don't know. Understand if you got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? When you got to deal, you, know, you got nowhere to go. You just on your ass and shit like that. You might have to deal with that shit for a minute until you get something better, man. But don't let that shit, you know what I'm saying, tear you down, break your shit down. You know, she done broke the nigga down, man. Wish I was a nigga homeboy. Well, you know, when he had his money on, I heard he was just kind of being an asshole a little bit. You know what I'm saying? When you get your money on, you act a little different. And so that's what I've been hearing about it. So I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, just 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 watch those females out there. That's it, you know what I'm saying? They can come out come out the woodwork. They see you having it. Come out the woodworks and shit and play you about it, you know what I'm saying? Even if your dick is small and shit like that, shit, learn how to fuck hard. You can go get some other bitches. You can go get a bitch that can like your dick, you know what I'm saying? Because every bitch ain't going to love you, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, even if you do got a big dick, I don't know what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? That's what the brother said, allegedly. You know, and, uh, wow. How about Jada fucking on, uh, motherfucking, um, Mark Antony? You know, she probably was throwing that pussy out there. Now I'm looking at Jada a whole different way. Jada was throwing that pussy out there. Why she was throwing that pussy, right? Damn, she was throwing that pussy. She was throwing that pussy out there. Man, Jada came in Hollywood and shook some shit up. <laughs> Jada Pickett's pussy, right? Pussy's a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That pussy could be a motherfucker. That pussy can make you some money, though. Kim Kardashian. Pussy can make you some money, boy. Pussy can take a motherfucker, man, drive a motherfucker crazy, boy. That dick can drive a bitch crazy, but ooh, that pussy, boy, that pussy, man, making a nigga blow up the world, man. That nigga ran up on the sleigh and slapped the nigga in front of the world, you know, behind some motherfucking pussy. Talking about Will Smith. Keep my motherfucking wife name out your motherfucking mouth. 
Yeah, well, you know, that's my story on that. Y'all niggas watch that shit, man. Watch, watch them females out there like that. But, yeah, it's all gravy to me. It's all open, man. It's all open. Like Will's asshole. <laughs> I'm just glad. It's all open to me, man. So, man, I mean, it's all open. So, you know, if you're in Hollywood, you're out there like to get that fame, you know what I'm saying? It comes out of two-headed sword. You got to know it, man. So, people, if you want that fame, you can get it. And you can get it like this. So, if you do get out there, you know what I'm saying? Be careful. Rock B, three on the tree. <sighs> hey, again, check out that motherfucking Robin Givers and Mike Tyson story. That's the new age Robin Givers and Mike Tyson. Rock B set it.